Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add a tooltip to a D3 element. The tooltip shows more information about an item on a page when the user hovers over that item. Right now we've got the hover, um, but we don't have a tooltip. There are several ways to add a tooltip to a visualization. This challenge uses SVG title elements, title pairs with the text method to dynamically add data to the bars. Append a title element under each rect node. So down here we've got Looks like they only want us to add it under here. I'm going to stretch this out just so our code's a little easier to read. Um, add, append a title element under each rect node. Okay, append, append a title element. Title element under each rect node. Then call the text method with a callback function so that the text displays the data value. Text with a callback method, so we're going to say function uh, d and console.log the d. And we're printing it out, so we should just say, now we know it's 1231 everything, well we want to return a the letter, or we want to return the data element. So it should work like that. Um, let's run the test, see what happens. Okay. That is weird because it doesn't show up. We don't see it. Okay, so I just basically did exactly what the instructions say, but we're not actually seeing any results from it, which is frustrating. Should have nine title elements. The first title element should have a tooltip text of 12. So if I hover, if I right click and inspect this element, um, we're seeing in the rectangle and should have a title of 12. So each one of these are, have a title element in them. So that's what we want. We're, we're, not, we're not able to see what we're doing yet, which is kind of frustrating, but we are getting it, um, we are making it happen. Um, so that's what we're looking for. And so we're making these title elements and we can work on that. My guess is that in future lessons, the uh, title elements become more useful. But we could clean this up, can't we? Because this is in vanilla JavaScript and we're passing in a uh, a callback function uh, so we could change this up and make it an ES6 and then it'll pass the tests like that but uh, we also know that if we get rid of the brackets then we can just have it on a single line which uh, passes the tests as well and so this is probably the cleaner way of doing it and then you want to clean your code up like that by getting rid of the comments and I'd say this is a solid way to Solve the problem. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.